Hello folks, it's Senile Sarge and today we're going to be playing some Star Valor. I'm super excited about this because I don't, I don't know why, but I've just got like sucked into space games lately, right? We've been playing some Star Citizen, went back, did some No Man's Sky, and then now I feel like like this game, I watched, um, you know, I've been watching it here for a little bit, but I finally got to watch uh, somebody play it and I immediately was like, oh my, th th this is amazing. I've, I've got to try this game. So I'm super stoked today to be playing this. If you don't know what it is, you can choose your destiny, you get to explore an open world. It's procedurally generated, huge galaxy. And, and you guys will see here in a minute, you really can do anything that you kind of want to do in the game. So you can mine, you can trade, you can be a bounty hunter, you can be a pirate. I mean, kind of a jack of all trades if you want as well. So it's the great part about the game. It's in space. It's an action. There is some RPG elements. So there's some back and forth, but I love that. It's just, it feels like such an open galaxy that you're kind of traveling through. So I think a lot of you that like uh, space-based games and you're not really sure what you like to do inside of them are probably going to like this game, uh, like this game a lot. Uh, the game is currently $24.99. It just released. So I am, here's fingers crossed that this game is going to be fun. We'll do the first 30 to 45 minutes or so. And then, uh, and I'll give you guys kind of the final thoughts on it afterwards. Okay. From a settings perspective, everything looks pretty easy here. Okay. Options. We got tutorial. We're... Yeah, we can do the tutorial. Why not? Uh, show floating numbers. Now we don't need to do tutorial. We're good. We got this. Uh, video. Okay, full screen. Projectile bloom. Okay, nothing here. Target frame rate. Mm, okay, we'll, we'll leave that there for now. I, I may turn that down. It does look like it's going to have bindable keys. It does. Okay, so that's good. Always like seeing bindable keys. All right, let's do a new game. We're going to do streamer casual. You, you know, just, uh, we, we should do standard, but we're going to stream her casual because it's got YouTube safe music and I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Uh, character name. Let's go with old faithful, right? Collision damage. We're not going to do, we're not going to do the tutorial mission. We'll leave it on medium. I am going to put this on what is for casual players, save anywhere, weaker enemies, 50% cargo space because I want to be able to do stuff. We're going to put it on relaxed. I would normally probably go normal. And if we decide to do a series or some sort on here, and you guys know the deal. If you want me to do a series, then uh, get this thing up to 20 likes in the first three days and we'll, we'll move forward with it. That lets me know that you like it. Okay, from a background perspective, here's the things we can kind of do. We can do Otis, Red Skull Pirates, it's hostile. We can do a miner, we can do a trader, or we can do a pirate. Those are the things that we can do. Um, Man, so I'm thinking either a trader or a pirate. We're gonna do, we'll, we'll do trader for now. Even though every bone in my body tells me that we should do, uh, we should do pirate. We're still going to do that. Okay. For these, these are all kind of the experience to start off with. So we got power management, power optimization. We have technology. We've got ordnance, armor plating. We've got maneuverability, acceleration, velocity, navigation, scanning, command, piloting, commerce, excavation, prospecting and then astronomy now we're obviously a trader so i think something in in trading would probably be a good one and then of course our ship man it, you guys will see here in a minute the ship sometimes will you know dictate some of this but let's do i don't know if we should do navigation or if we should do scanning power of 30. yeah a lot of this other stuff we're going to get as we go through so let's go ahead and do scanning just because we're just based off what we're going to be doing for starship we're going to go ahead and do the hauler maybe Okay, so you can see the difference. This is a class two yacht, the Valor. These are all a little bit small. I don't know if I, I don't know if we should get those. Well, you can tell they're they're better as you go up. So th this Valor is mass is seventy, armor is one hundred, speeds ten, and then agility is ten. And then you have this hauler. It's two twenty, three hundred, eight, and seven. So you can see the little bit difference of, you know, kind of what you have there. The freighter is this one has built-in equipment, approved tractor beam. Warp towage is plus 100. Ship enhancement slots is one. It does have space for four weapons, 42 equipment, and 60 cargo. You can also have four four crew. This one, so three weapons. So I I feel like I mean I I say yes. Yeah, so we're gonna select. Can I select that? Oh, I get to select. I get to select one smaller. Okay, so I I couldn't select it. That stinks because I was about to get stoked that I was gonna be able to do it. All right, let's get into this thing. Okay, select controller. We're definitely going PC, mouse and keyboard. Press back quote, another A and D for mouse. Okay. All right, when you feel you're ready, pick your side on the war between the human resistance, children of Terra, and the alien overlords, Vingai Session. 
Join the children Terror or the Vanka. Okay. All right. And we're going to receive 250 XP if we do that. Oh, nice. Okay, let's look at kind of what we have here for controls. So down at the bottom, you're now on a quest. Quest can be very rewarding while helping you learn to play the game. Press U to open the quest log where you can track progress. Okay, let's look at that. Okay, so this must be our, our, our active quest that we have going. And then we press tab to sector map to know where you need to go. Okay, so, okay. so this is the current map that we have. Okay, so what the, here, let's look at a couple things. You can see the movement. Movement's pretty easy. WASD, so you know, strife right and left with uh with A and D. I just heard somebody shooting. This is this is starting off well already. Okay, if we go up in the top left, we can see our character. So these are we can do skills. We've got knowledge that we'll learn through this thing. We got perks. So these are what I picked up in, initially. And then of course our stats that will also go up. Right now it looks like Red School Pirates are hostile towards us, so we just we need to know that kind of going in. Uh, we do have one skill point to use right now. I'm going to do that on, I think, armor out the gate. It's probably going to be the best thing to throw it in just to make sure, because I have a feeling we're going to get, we're going to get tagged right off the bat. Wait, do I have another one? Do I have two or what? Oh, maybe I had two. Okay. If we have two, then we'll do one. No. Okay. Maybe we don't. Okay. Uh, the other thing we have is we have the sector map, which you already saw. You can mark by left clicking, which is pretty cool. It uh, doesn't look like you can take that off once you mark it. Okay. It's all good. And then now, of course, it left it there. Uh, the other thing that you have, this is the galaxy. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. I mean, that is just nuts how big this is. So I, I imagine probably going to make this way bigger. And the way that you kind of maneuver around this is there's these little teleporters that you can move to each one. But you got to make sure that, like, I couldn't go from here to, like, this star over here. I have to go here and then here and then of course down wherever that takes us so that's that that's interesting so you can see here the map shows the sectors discovered so far the further you travel the more sectors will be revealed you do get experience points for checking these out so you definitely want to do it the bubble circle around your ship represents your sensor range so we can see that and lines represent the jump gate between sectors yeah so these lines we can go from point a to point b uh hold left to drag the map mouse wheel to zoom in zoom out okay we already know that Okay, thank you very much, Captain Obvious. Okay, and then the last thing we'll look at, oh, we've already seen that. Okay, that's good. Okay, now on a quest. All right, now if we go back to press U. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go back and press tab. Oh, we got, look, we have somebody coming in right there. Look at him. Come here. You know, we're about to get to Zonal, buddy. Okay, he left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go inside there. <laughs> we, we about went in there. Okay, and it'll auto save every four minutes. That's fine. Where do we want to go? Do we need to go to, I think we need to go to the sector over here. Oh, the other thing we can do is we can actually choose. You'll see the buttons lighting up on the left side of the screen, our energy control. So we can do here, we can actually turn this stuff up and down. So that's a, that's a positive. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to push up our, push this up just a little bit. And then our heat levels obviously was down here in the bottom area. So that's fine. Okay. Let's go here to the civilian station number one. These little planets, man. I don't know what that thing was. Ooh. Oh, the other thing we can do is mouse click back so that we're not like right up on top of things. Okay, so here's the things that we have. We can repair the ship in here. So you can see that lighting up. We got a mission board that we can go into the academy and then of course any contacts we have. So right now this is the mission board. So we can do like supplies needed. So we need someone to go out and get some supplies for the station. Are you competent pilot and up for the task? We have a nice reward, of course. Okay, so if we go out and get two drone parts, come back here, we can get a rapid Vulcan. We can get a light cannon and or a light laser, one of those. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that one. Regional delivery. And then what's the scout mission? Visit four unexplored sectors. Yes, we want to do that as well. Okay trade so this is your trade area you've got weapons equipment ships and then goods that's kind of the area that we have i don't have a lot of money well i do actually so if you look over on the right side of the or the sorry left side of the screen you can see credits right below the the general area so i get 6500 credits also have it here right above these buttons on this side so i do have a pretty good amount of money i think what we probably should look at is to see if there's anything that we can buy that would be better let's see lateral boosters i don't see any weapons any weapons here 
I don't even know what we have on our current thing. We have a light. Okay, so this is damage four, DPS eight. So let's see if there's something better. Damage four, DPS eight. So that one's a little bit better. This one's a light cannon. So this one looks like, what kind of ammo? Cannon ammo. I think it's the same thing we have on there though, isn't it? No, so we probably should get that one. Yeah, I say we get this light cannon or that PD laser. Now nah, we're gonna do this light cannon. Okay, let's buy that. The other thing that we need is we need cannon ammo. So let's do, let's do like 900 just in case that way we've got it okay now what we need to make sure that we do is we go in a hangar so i want to i want to put this on so we're going to go ahead and we're going to equip that so that now will give us exactly what we need so we've got our light laser still on we've got the light cannon still on so we are good to go all right now what we need to do is we need to find we need to go explore that's the big part right now, because I think we had one of our missions was to go out and kind of look and see what we could find. Okay, hideouts. You've discovered a hideout of independent ships, which can be hostile and of two different types. Marauders, a group of violent pilots who attack anyone who passes by. Near my stations, but interest in eliminating these groups since they're often problems. Marauders tend to work as a group. Or we got mercenaries, although not hostile at first, they will defend themselves with high firepower. Okay. Well, hopefully we're not uh, going straight up into danger zone here about to get top gun music playing okay so these are mercenaries so that's good news so we can just kind of cruise on by these cats we don't have to worry about them so if they were the other one you know possibly getting shot now you can kind of see where we're at so we're going now we're going to go back down here there's an asteroid field i think the asteroid field is where we can go in and actually do some mining and stuff and then through that mining you can get stuff so we're going to try that out just to see not a hundred percent, but we're going to see. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then we're, of course we're right clicking to use the, uh, the mine. It looks like this is pretty good too. Like it's not, I don't see anything on the left side of the screen, like that my mining laser is going down or anything. So that's a, that's a positive. Okay. We got gray ore from that. You've got a new item. Press G to look at your inventory. Okay. So G. Okay. There it is on the right side over here. And this is, we have passengers inside of here, they would show. I can't wait to get the hauler because I think the hauler would be so much better. I actually like this portion of it, which is kind of shooting the asteroids and seeing what we get out of it. I think we can get all kinds of different supplies and stuff out of it when we do this. So you may get iron, you could get copper, like all those things. And each one of them could be a quest. Oh, there you go. Okay, so this one, your geology knowledge defines what kind of metals and crystals you can mine from asteroids. Oh, okay. So the higher your geology, the higher grade metals you will get. If you don't have enough points for a certain metal type, you get the basic ore instead, which can later be processed and refined into musical. Okay. So this, so these blue crystals I know are good. So that's a positive. So we probably need to spend a little bit of time on getting that geology thing up where it needs to be. We're gonna do a couple more of these. I'm gonna see if there's anything else that we get out of them. I don't remember where the because I knew we had our skills. So I wonder if that's C. We're going to look real quick. Look at our character screen. Yep. Yep. Okay. Here it is. So knowledge. So this is what it was talking about right here. So we get this, this up the geology, then we're going to get better stuff, which is good. So right now it looks like we could get blue crystal or iron from what we're doing. Okay. Well, that's, that's good. Oop, oop. First time flying. Don't worry about it. And then through the quest, I know I've seen that, you know, you, you'll actually get some quests that have, you know, stuff that they want you to get. It's so like this, this field, we're not even in the real field down here. But sometimes they have stuff that's just kind of floating around the map as well, which is kind of cool. So you don't always have to do what I'm doing here. You know, you can actually uh, go into these little asteroid fields down here and sometimes you'll have stuff floating. So let's go in here up oh, right there. Look. Just like I said, there's a blue crystal right there. Now I turned off the, the, the ramming into things stuff because I'm, it's a little bit difficult. It's not super hard, but it, you got to get used to flying in this. It's not the easiest thing. So I decided just to turn it off. And I was also trying to figure out if the different rocks, because you have like this one is like kind of like this white look, like you can see a little bit better like that. 
And then you have this one that's kind of off to my left. It has like a different, a different look to it. So I didn't know if certain rocks give certain things. I don't think so, but. And there was also some that looked like kind of metallic looking. Okay, so that one actually gave us iron. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. So I wonder smaller ones are better. What does this one give? No, oh, that's just that was just gray ore. I was hoping maybe that a smaller one. Now we also have a level up, so we're about to look at the level up real quick. Okay, we got another iron, so that was good. Okay, so now we can do another level up. So we've got the engineering. We can do power capacity. Doesn't look like we're having a problem with that. Scavenging, 20% faster scavenging and 20% scrap metal loot point. Okay, we don't need combat yet. Exploration, I'm not. Well, 10% scanning range when detecting locations. Business, 8% chance to obtain two crystals instead of one. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. But is that, is that just trading? Well, it's trading and mining. Okay. I think that's the way we do it right there. Okay. Yeah. I think that's the way we do it because we're, we're in, we're in about making money right now. I know we're probably, we may do pirate later. We'll see if you guys like it or not. If you guys like the game and think it's interesting, we may, we may become a pirate, come up in this joint and see what happens. Just come in and just fight everything. We're at least going to get into a fight. I can promise you that. I, you, you cannot escape fighting in this game. You are going to fight <laughs> no matter how hard you want to try. Okay. Let's go down here. All right. Let me see. Is there something else in here that we need? Let's do one more. We did get two irons. I was hoping that we would get some other stuff, but we haven't. I right, hear. Let me unclick that in case. Oh, sorry. Okay. Just more gray ore. Okay, let's back off a little bit. Oh, this one right here. Wait, is this one? I don't think that's... I don't think, yeah, we can't shoot it. Okay, so we're going to continue to go down. Up oh, here, let me go over here. There's a little fogged in area that we need to head to over here. We want to try to get as many of these open as we possibly can. Okay, you have discovered a specific location. Press tab to check the sector map. Discovering new locations gives you experience points. Okay. Okay, so this is a jump gate. These are the gates that I was talking about earlier that you actually can jump through. Uh, the dead zone, so anything outside of kind of the map. So when you look at this map, it looks like anything outside of this is the dead zone. The, there's, it tells you that you can go outside, but it just recommends that you don't. Like there's nothing you're going to get for doing it. I have not spent a lot of time out there, so I don't know if there is something for a reason. I can tell you that clearing the map we're opening it all up, like all of these cloudy areas that are that are still cloudy here. It seems to be important. So if you are going to get it, you do pick up the game. Make sure, okay, so here's the example. You're outside the bounds of the current sector, uh, where it's known as dead zone. Although you can safely fly here, nothing of interest really happens. You will not reach it. Okay, so not, nothing else really important with that. Yeah, but you get a lot of experience points when you go out and you check all of these uh, kind of shaded in areas. Like, it seems like that's the best thing that you can do in each one of the... So it's no different than most of the other games that you go into where you want to go out and see as much of the, the map as possible. Okay, we got a debris field up here. Now, in here, sometimes... Right there, there it is. Let's see if I can do this. So I know what you do. I don't know if I can do it, but... Yeah, there you go. So you go to this, you press J because you got this, this item. And then, bam. So on that, we got... A base component. Well, let's just look. Yeah, we got a looks like scrap metal and energy cells. It looks like. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know. It also shows like some blueprints learned. So I don't really know what the blueprints are. So down here, it says here you can manage your cargo, view ships, stats, equipment, items, the web change. Yep, already got it. OK, so let's go this way. All right, there's another asteroid over here. I don't know if there's going to be anything here, but we'll go look at it. I know some of the places that you'll fast forward to or that you're going to warp to. Oh, boy. Hopefully, I can you hit that? Nope, flying over the top of it. That is cool, man. Look at that. <laughs> I like it. I like that, man. That's pretty cool. I like how the shadowing is, you know. Okay, there's another asteroid, little asteroid area up here. You can, uh, you can press either S or you can just hit space to 
slow your stuff down too. That's the other thing that I learned in here. Let's get a couple of these. Now these, these civilian ports, the ones that I went to earlier that we were kind of in, those are good to get the missions. Highly recommend that you get some of the, some of those missions or quest. That way when you're out here, like we're going to go to this, we'll, we'll find another one in a minute, which will allow us to hopefully get some better stuff. Okay. There we go. All right. Pause there. And hopefully we'll get some more you know, missions where you've got to find like iron or bronze or whatever. Some of the stuff in just like most games, if you can't find it, you can also buy it. So I was buying, like I was having problems finding bronze or, or I'm sorry, copper. But when I went to one of the stations, it actually had copper and then I just bought it because it just seemed like it was a little bit easier. And it's probably just because I don't have my geology up high enough to do it. Okay, you're being hunted by hostile ships. Okay, here it goes. This is where the magic happens. Defend yourself by using mouse buttons to shoot. Try to avoid getting hit using strafe. Double tap or left control to do a spinning roll, which will avoid enemy fire. Okay, left control. Man, there's so many buttons. Now, now we're about to give this dude the scunion. Watch this. Look at that. <laughs> Woo, get out of here. Look at that. So the good part is because we upgraded our weapon system, that was much easier. I can promise you it was not as easy as that the first time that I did it. I did not realize that upgrading your stuff was so important. Okay, looks like another asteroid field up here. So we'll just go up here real quick. Or it could be something else. Oh, boy. Okay, let, let's hit these. You can also see I took a little bit of damage on that one. You can repair those pretty easy at this at the stations. Oh, man, that's good, man. Some iron, some blue crystals. We like the blue. The blue crystals. Okay, let's go ahead and get this one. Sorry about this. This episode going to be a little bit longer than normal. Just because I think it'd be good for you guys to get the full experience. So we're going to at least try to clear this entire space so you guys get a feeling for this one. You can absolutely get attacked kind of anywhere in this, um, which is great. So it's not, you know, and it gets harder and harder, progressively harder. So the good part is, is like right now it seems pretty easy, but oh, what's that? Okay. And see, you'll find these things that are just kind of rotating out in the middle of nowhere, middle of space. Okay, there we go. So this is what we wanted right here. The space station is phenomenal. Okay, and then again, press space G to lock in. So, and then here it is with the mission board, we now have different things. So the first thing I wanna do is repair my ship, get that over with. We're gonna look at supply run. So we need, yep, see, obtain one copper. And then we're, we're, we'll get a light laser or we'll get a impulse drive, which is good. So I think the impulse drive is what we need. The light laser, I believe we already kind of have that. And we're going to get 520 credits and 540 experience. We'll do the local delivery. Okay, so let's see what this is. Automated Galactic Exchange. Welcome to Age System Terminal. Package transport request. Local operator user mission valid. Deliver package to designated terminal. So basically go to civilian station one. Okay. So we're going to receive 450 XP and then 440 credits. Yes, we absolutely want that. And then you also have the regional deliveries. I think it's important to kind of stay focused where you're at, the galaxy you're at first, before you start moving forward, I guess, to the other regional stuff. But you also can do the pirate missions. So if you want to eliminate some of the pirates, then, you know, go for it. If you want to grab some people in here, you have the ability to. So I have the ability to have one other person in here with me. So if I wanted to grab, you know, and you could see what they do. So Jenna Smith here is an example, level six. Learnings balanced can learn up to three skills and we'll either focus on bonus effect or learn different ones. But the big thing down here is apprentice gunner, terrible aim, critical chances plus six. If I go to Lance, it's experience received plus nine. Joseph shield absorbance or absorption is plus two. And then of course, Michael is speed booster plus six. And then also you can see pilot. So I, you know, with Lance, he's an instructor and you get experience received. So it seems like we're going to 660 will hire. We now have somebody on our ship with us. So we're not alone anymore. Okay. Let me, let me do this real quick. Let's go back here to see. 
Okay, and you can see over here, engineering exploration. Okay, we're starting to get stuff. I don't have any skill points that I need to give yet. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's keep going down this way. Let's clear the rest of this. And then we're going to head back up to the first area. So civilian station one. You can see it blinking because it's telling me, hey, you need to go up there. Okay, nothing down here it doesn't look like. Okay, so here, debris fields are a great place to salvage materials, energy cells, so forth and so on. Get close, press J. Okay, so the debris field must be, yep, it's over here. Oh, okay, and you can press shift to fast travel too. Okay, that's cool. Okay, let's see if there's anything in here. Yep, there goes something right here. All right, there we go. Get a little close. We press and hold J. That'll scavenge, should pop us out a couple things. We'll see what those things are. Okay, we got energy cell and then of course scrap metal on that one. So that one's pretty good. Not bad, not like amazing either, but I didn't even realize that you could do the the fuel. I don't even see if it's like, is, is it wasting fuel somewhere? Yeah, I don't even see. Okay, we've got an area up here. So let's try to go and get this area. Bam, we just cleared it. So we cleared the entire map or the entire little area that we're in. Let me back off a little bit. That way I can see. We're going to head up here to the first area. Oh, we do have a level up too. Oh, it looks like we can do this. Okay. So this time, I think it's probably going to be a good idea. I think we maybe do... Hmm. This one's a little bit hard. 20% faster scavenging and 20% metal loot point. Or we can continue to do the mining portion. I, I think the mining is where we're going to stick. I mean, you, you guys, fortunately for you, you won't, you won't have to hang around with me while I'm doing some of this if we continue on with the series. But I, I do think that mining, you know, we need money. So we can go in, we can sell stuff and things like that and then get better ships. Like, I wish we could have got that hauler, right? Like, that would have been phenomenal. Okay, let's slide on in here. Okay, so it's done. So we're going to get 450 experience, 440 credits. Let's complete that. Bam. And then we've got some other people here we could hire. We don't have any room, though, unfortunately. Let's look and see what our mission board is. We do have a local delivery and a supply run here. So local delivery, go back to station four. Yes. And then supply run, we need gallium. Okay. I don't know what gallium is. We get 300 experience, 240 credits. We're going to do this because we should be able to, where I made a mistake last time. I think we needed, um, let me look at the mission board real quick. Hold on. Let me go here real quick. I think one of these, okay, we need a copper. So this is kind of what I was talking about before. You can actually go in here. We need one copper. Let's just go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and buy one. We're going to get one copper. And then, so now it's done. And then this one, we need gallium. I, I don't think we're going to find gallium here because that's obviously they're asking for it. How many rounds do we have cannon ammo? Okay, we're still good for cannon ammo, it looks like. So I don't think it's anything that I need to worry about right now. That's good to go. And there's probably some other stuff in here I could sell. But we're going to head back down to the other station. So we'll get back down to the other station. Then we should be able to, to hand off some of this stuff. What I'll do then, because we're already getting into a little bit deeper into this episode than I was hoping, we're going to go ahead and move through one of the jump portals after we get done finishing this up here. And then that way you guys can kind of see what the what the jump piece is. The game is very interesting to me. I, I'm really enjoying it thus far. I mean, I played it a little bit earlier prior to kind of recording this, so I make sure that I knew exactly what I was supposed to be doing. But man, it is, it is actually pretty cool. I think almost everybody we have that plays this, or if you do play something like this, you're going to absolutely love it. Okay, so we obtain one copper. We got a civilian station. That's completed. Now we get to choose a reward. I think the impulse drive's the way to go here. We currently have a 20 and a 20. Yep, we're going to do that. We'll complete the quest. We're good to go. The thing I wanted to see if they have gallium here. They sure do. I think we only needed one, right? Yep, only, only obtain one. So let's go trade. We're going to do gallium. We're going to buy one. Okay. And then we're going to head back over 
we'll head back over to the other one and then we're gonna since we're right there by the uh, jump portal we'll take that jump portal through but what's interesting to me on this i don't i don't believe there is multiplayer on the game though i think it is uh it's a single player game which is fine i, I really like kind of the aspect of what the developer was doing here though i think it's it's got all the pieces because if you like to if you all all you want to do is space combat then that's what you can do if if all you want to do is go out and mine and you know grow get huge ships things like that then then go for it like you you know he looks like he made a made a spot for all of that okay so we got this we get to choose so we got a pd laser we can get or we have a simple repair beam oh interesting and you also like it says here you can 33 percent improve tech level if you scrap this item so even if i don't need it then okay okay so i guess we can do that the one thing we do need to do real quick let's press c here i'm gonna go ahead and let's do should we do weapons scavenging power capacities i think we're gonna do man these are these are tough ones other ships treat you two levels higher before attacking or negotiating point crew higher cost and expense reduced by 10. okay i think we're gonna we're gonna stay with what we talked about earlier we're gonna stay with uh we're gonna stay with business all right and let's go ahead and go down here we're gonna jump i'll show you the jumping because oh uh, is there another point oh maybe there's another point here we'll put it on that one there we go so we'll add a little bit of navigation that way I go a little bit faster okay so let's jump through the portals so these portals the one thing to know about the portals when you look at them each one has a different number so like 2016 24 16 22 19. how that matches up is based off this map right so if i look at this map this one down here is 27 10. this one's 24 16. this one's 22 19. 22 16. Yeah, so you can kind of see that this one will be 2016. Okay. Pitch black. This sector is very far from any star becoming too dark for manual navigation and fighting. Use your equipment instead. It's a good place for secret bases since they cannot be detected from outside the sector. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, it, yeah, it's super dark here. Okay, so you see we, we came from here and then now we're up here. And it looks like there's a war up here too. And that's the other thing you can see here is kind of what, what's there. So on the one we just came from, the size is very small. It has independent control, population is media, minerals are very poor. It's hundred percent explored because obviously I did it. The things I still need to do there is I still need to get some drone parts and I need to go back to civilian station number one. So we'll, so we'll do that at some point. The new area, this one actually mineral is very poor as well. So again, this one's controlled though by the syndicate. Good news is I'm in good graces with them. If you look at this next area up here, probably not as good. Oh boy. Okay, we got fighting. We're gonna go down here and save somebody. Yeah, yeah, you're about to get it. You got lucky. You got lucky, boss. He was about to get it, man. I was about, about to give him a scunion. Okay, that's 2514. So we gotta make sure that we remember that. Man, it is dark out here. I wonder if they have like a flashlight or something. I don't think so. Here, let me let me pause that for a second. Let me just look at the controls. Is there a light of any kind? Quest, perks, target, hail. No, I don't think there's a. Uh, I don't think there is. That's fine. That's okay. We don't need it. So we can do real quick is just clear this entire area, and then I think it really gives you guys a pretty good. Oh, the good news is we just got another one of these. So let's do, let's do plus five. Probably should have added it somewhere else, but whatever. Okay, there's another jump gate down there. It's a little bit harder to see. So if there's any asteroids or anything, I, it doesn't even look like there is any. So I don't know if in these darker areas, like is there just not asteroids? Maybe there's no asteroid fields here which isn't a bad thing completely. Like you can see there's something right here. Okay. And there's gonna be a space station up here on this planet. There's gotta be. Ah, here's here's an asteroid field of some sort. Okay, I think it's an asteroid field. 
Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm just hitting the rocks going through it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't see anything, but like it's there. That's cool. Okay, so we got blue crystal. We got junk up here. So you can see a blinking or you, you know, you guys, as you look down at the bottom down there, you'll see a, like a blue blinking dot. That's kind of where, how you know that there's something kind of floating out there. Now this one, oh, here you go. There we go. Let's go a little bit closer. Stop. J. Scavenge, see what we get here. Come on, give me, give, give me something nice. What do we get? Two microchips, two energy cells. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, can I not get it all? Maybe I can't get it all. Maybe I got too much stuff on my, I think I got too much stuff on my ship. Yeah, that stinks. Okay, so we need to go, we need to go to this planet. Because we need to sell some of the stuff that we got on us. So I don't have enough storage is what I think the problem is. Let me just look real quick. What is that, U? No, 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 J. No, 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 which one is it? Ship, here we go, G. Yeah, so our ship cargo right now is 39.97. We only have room for 40. So that's a bit of a problem. So we'll need to sell some of the items that we have. We do have a mercenary hideout here, which is fine. I don't see anybody dangerous there. And hopefully, man, there's a... I don't even know if there's a... Oh, here we go. We're about to get it. We're about to get it. There he goes. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, there is a pirate hideout just north of us. So maybe not the best area to go to. Okay, here's the space station right here. That's good. Okay, and as normal, we'll go to it. Get close to it. Go ahead and press G. All right, what we want to make sure that we do here is we have a bunch of stuff over here. So first we need to go to the hangar because we need to look at this impulse drive. Okay, which one is it? Because we completely forgot to take this one off. So let's unequip. Oh, we got to repair. Sh okay, got to repair ship. All right. Quit yelling at me. All right, so let's take this one off. Let's equip that one. Good to go. Okay, so that's good. Next, we've got the ammo. That's fine. Speed booster. All of that's good. Okay. Oh, we don't even have our co-pilot on here. I don't know why he's not on here. Oh, here he is. Our most space car crew specifically bear small ships like shell yachts, although not required, can benefit greatly from a co-pilot. Okay, there you go. Now we, I totally forgot to assign my, uh, my crew. Okay, learning focus defines how many skills a crew member can have, their max level and how strong their bonuses will be. Normally skills can only level up to the same rarity as a crew member. Okay, specialized diversity and balanced. Okay, so I, I think we're okay. The crew member efficiency will affect the ship equipment according to each specialization. Okay. That's cool. I, I like how that works. Okay, simple repair beam. Let's look at what we have here. This we're going to get rid of. The junk, I think we can get rid of. Explosives, I think we can get rid of. Microchips, I don't really know what those do. So the scrap metal looks like it's something that we need. Iron, I suspect we need. I, so some of this stuff, I don't know, like if there's a storage system. So that's the thing I, you know, one of the things I need to really look at to see if there is like a storage system of some sort, because that'd be super helpful. Okay, what is this base component? Upgrade kit, used to upgrade equipment up to green tier, select equipment and cargo menu, and then upgrade button will appear. Oh, wow. Okay, let's just try this. <clears throat> oh, not enough material. Okay, so we need base components and microchips. So we need the microchips, so we don't want to get rid of those. Okay, so let's go back to G. Go back in here to trade. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and actually do do you do you break this down? Is there a way to scrap destroy? Is it destroying it that does it? You scrap this item. Okay, so if you scrap it, okay, let's scrap it. Bam! Okay. That's cool. Okay, so you can actually, instead of doing any of it, you can do that. Okay, so what we what we do want to do here, let's go back to trade. 
We're going to do the junk. Let's go ahead and sell all. Explosives. We can't sell. Energy cells. Let's sell three of those. We're going to keep those. Scrap metal. We're going to keep... How about the iron? Mm. And then we've got the blue crystals. I don't know if we should sell. Okay, we're going to get... We're definitely going to sell this impulse drive. Let's go ahead and sell that. Get that out of here. How much do we have? 33 of 40. So really, we just need a bigger ship. Is what I'm understanding here. And then here's the ships that we could get. We need a little bit more money. But I don't think any of these are like that much bigger. Oh, that one's bigger. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so there are some some monsters that are in here. All right, well, hey, I, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of time with me. I, again, if you guys want to see a series on this, do me a favor, hit that like button. Get it up to about 20 over the first couple days. Then I'll look at continuing this uh, to go through. I'm already having loads of fun in the game. I think you will too, if you, especially if you like these type of games. I, I think the interesting part is even if you don't like the, the kind of the top down feel of what this game looks like, I would tell you that it, it's very unique. So don't, don't let that shy you away from possibly looking at it as something that you may want to get. Uh, the game is currently $24.99, so it's not a super expensive game. And, and it does have a ridiculous sized universe to look at. So that, that is another positive thing in this game. You have plenty of time to play it and, and, uh, and have fun in it. Again, uh, single player, that's the primary focus of it. I, I hope at some time though, that maybe they open up mods and they let people uh, you know, do a little co-op. Well, it, either way, appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for spending a little time with me and uh, we'll see you on the next one. The Senile Sarge signing off.